We're going to show the absolute value of 60 degrees on the Cartesian plane. So 60 would be maybe something like that. And we want to put a point on the terminal arm, meaning we need to find the coordinate at the end of this line. This is the terminal arm. So we just need to find the coordinate, x and y. So how do you think we would do that given the angle? So we're going to use special triangles to determine the lengths of the triangle. This is a right angle triangle. There's two triangles you have to remember. 45 degree triangle and a 60-30 triangle. These are both right angle triangles. So anytime you see the 45 degree, 30 degrees, and 60 degrees are the other two. So there's really only three angles that you have to know the ratios of. 30, 45, and 60. We're going to state the ratio of the lengths of these triangles. The base, the height, and the hypotenuse. For any scale of triangle, if we were to magnify this triangle really big, the ratio of the side lengths would still be the same. Still be the same. Good. So it's important to remember what those are. So we're going to do that. So a 45 triangle would be the side length of 1 and 1. And the hypotenuse is the square root of 2. If we do the square root of 2 on the calculator, it's a little bit greater than 1. So the values we're going to distribute around this triangle are 1, root 3, and 2. So we just have to remember 1, root 3, and 2 from least to greatest. Where should the biggest number be? The hypotenuse. The biggest number is 2. Root 3 is about 1.7. Biggest number is 2, therefore that's on our hypotenuse. The smallest number is 1. Where should that go? The largest angle is opposite the largest side length, therefore the smallest angle should be opposite the smallest side length. So we'll put our 1 opposite the 30, leaving us with our root 3 opposite from the 60. These are the special triangles that you have to remember for all angles of 30, 45, and 60. Yeah. So we'll have an x value of 1 and a y value of root 3. And that's our coordinate. Sometimes the angles are given in radians in terms of pi. In radians, this would be pi over 6 or pi over 4 or pi over 3. We'll recognize these as our special triangle angles. An important thing to mention for terminal arms is that the, the magnitude should always be 1. The length of a terminal arm has to be scaled down to 1. So we can see the triangle here has a hypotenuse of 2. So we need to scale this down to the same proportions, so scaling it down by a half. This actually will be a new coordinate, so we're not going to use 1 root 3, but we'll be determining our point from that. So what would the coordinates be scaled down by half? Well, 1 over 2 and root 3 over 2. To scale root 2 down, we would multiply by root two. 2 and divide by 2. So that's what we would scale all of these by. So this would actually become root, just root 2 over 2. Okay, so scaling these, right, so to scale the hypotenuse to 1, we had multiplied by a half or divided by 2 to give us our new coordinates. So our scaled values are 1 half and root 3 over 2. And this is something that's not hard to forget with questions on terminal arms.